Venezuela's Electoral Commission says turnout in the controversial vote was 41.5 percent, with just over 8 million people casting their ballots. Counting began on Sunday night with early results expected within hours. Despite the mass boycott, President Maduro called the vote a success with great participation by the people. Anyone with eyes can see it, he says. The oligarchy doesn't have eyes or ears for the people. To them, they're invisible. We don't care about the opinion of the oligarchs. We care about the truth of the people. Opposition leaders have called on people to protest on Monday against the assembly and to remember those killed in anti-government demonstrations. For them, the vote is not legitimate, just a blatant attempt to impose a communist dictatorship. The head of the opposition-led National Assembly said this is an authoritarian government acting totally outside the constitution. And today the people of Venezuela have won, a free rebel people with a determination to secure victory for democracy. The government's been defeated, and whatever that constituent assembly does, neither the Venezuelan people nor the international community will recognize it. U.S. officials say the Trump administration is considering imposing more sanctions. Washington's U.N. ambassador denounced Sunday's vote as a sham and a step towards dictatorship. The talk is of hitting Venezuela's vital oil sector, with possible action including a ban on the sale of lighter U.S. crude hampering the country's refining network.